everyone. I hope you're doing well today. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys some of my tips for girls on the go. Now, if you're like me, you're probably not home very often, you're probably working all the time, you're in school all the time, you're doing a ton of extracurriculars, you don't have time to go home, you don't have time to touch up your makeup, and a lot of the times you're probably staying over at friends' houses, at family members' houses, and you're maybe living out of a purse half the time. I'm not going to be able to cover every single tip or trick that I have, but in this video I just wanted to share with you guys some of the tricks and tips that I have for gals on the go. My first makeup tip for gals on the go is to wear a long wearing foundation. Now this might seem silly or simple to you, but um, wearing a long wearing foundation is just going to make the rest of your day really easy because you're not going to have to touch up your makeup as much. You're not going to have to carry around as much makeup with you because your foundation is just going to last on your face all day. So the three that I have that I would recommend are the Revlon Color Stay, Estee Lauder Double Wear, and MAC Pro Long Wear. All three of these foundations probably would last you between 10 to 15 hours without having to be touched up. They're really great, they have really good coverage, and they're just no fuss makeup. They're really, really easy to use and I think really good quality. And along with that, another way to kind of make your makeup last longer so that you won't have to touch it up as often is to use a primer. Um, the three primers that I use are the MAC Prep and Prime, the Palladio Herbal Facial Primer, and the MAC Mattifying Gel. So those are just some tips on ones that you can use. Now, of course, you know, while having a long-wearing foundation is really important, it's also important to have a multitasking powder that you can use to both blot and set your makeup. So, um, it's really important when you're choosing a powder for these kind of gal-on-the-go moments that you don't go with one that's too mattifying or too natural. And it's also not very easy to travel with a loose powder. So I would suggest sticking with a pressed powder. Um, for me, the one that I really prefer to use is the Clinique um, Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder. I really like this one because it's um, oil absorbing and mattifying, so it's really good for touch-ups, but it's not so mattifying that it will look cakey. For example, the MAC um, Blotting Powder, I love this one for touch-ups, but if I were kind of in a gal-on-the-go moment and I just had to pack a little makeup bag for the evening or for the day, I wouldn't throw the MAC um, Blotting Powder in there because this powder is way too heavy for setting your makeup in the morning, and then if you go back and blot it later, it's just going to look cakey, it's going to look too matte, so you need to make sure you pick up powder that maybe has a little bit more of a natural finish, so it will absorb oil and set your makeup, but not look like too matte or too cakey. So I would definitely suggest the Clinique um, Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder. So when you're on the go, you don't have a lot of space and you don't have a lot of time. So I would suggest picking colors that are really neutral, that are really versatile, and making sure that you're bringing eye looks or eye palettes that kind of include an all-in-one, you know, look of what you would need. It's And I also, you know, totally prefer using eyeshadows in a palette. Um, it's really annoying to carry around single eyeshadows, I think. I think they're just way too cumbersome, take up way too much room, and I always end up losing them. So, in general, I would suggest picking a really neutral um, palette, like the Urban Decay Color Icon palettes, and I know I've mentioned these in like a million videos, and you're probably getting sick of it, but this is honestly my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette. I use it at least a couple times a week. It has every single color in it that I would need. You could do a really natural look with this, or you could do a really dramatic smoky eye with it. I also love this because it has a highlight color, it has crease colors, it has lid colors, and you could even use this really dark one as an eye liner. You just brought an angled brush with you and just wet it. Um, and this one, this color here, I actually used to fill in my brows. So if you can find a kind of all-in-one solution to all your makeup needs, you can just throw this one thing in your bag and you don't have to worry about having an eyeliner. You don't have to have wor worry about having a brow gel or a, br a brow pencil um, or anything like that. So you have to kind of just figure out what works for you. And for me, a palette like this is kind of my solution. Um, and another thing with that is I would definitely suggest, you know, to opt for drugstore makeup when you're on the go. Um, typically when you're on the go, you know, you're not really thinking about where your stuff is, you're not really, like, too concerned, um, you don't have a lot of room, 
Um, a lot of things are like rolling around in your bag probably. And so I would just suggest, you know, when you're going to be traveling or when you're going to be like at other people's houses, I would just suggest take your cheapest makeup with you because it is not worth losing like a $24 I, you know, liner over or like a $30 lip gloss over. You know, I have more expensive makeup, but I would never bring it to someone's house if I was staying over there or whatever, just because knowing me, I would leave it there and then I would never see it again. So that's just a tip that I have. My next suggestion would be to really try to cut down on the number of brushes that you carry around and, you know, choose very wisely which brushes you do decide. Um, my suggestion would be to take brushes that are multitasking or multifunctional. Um, and I pulled a couple just to show you. Some of these, you know, you could use as um, with found liquid foundation and with powders or as contour or as blush. This is the flat top um, brush from Everyday Minerals. This one you could use with a liquid foundation, with a powder foundation. You could also use this with a setting powder, with a blotting powder. So this is just a very good multi-functioning brush and it's also very short. So it sticks into a makeup bag very easily. Um, and then the next one is a little kind of kabuki from Coastal Scents. This one's really good for powder and it's also really good for blush. Um, this one is from one of the MAC Travel Brush sets. It's a mini contour brush and this one would work really good to contour with bronzer and also work really well for blush. So I like that one a lot. And my all time favorite brush for gals on the go is my angled brush. And I know it sounds weird, but I really like this one because, as I mentioned earlier, with the eyeshadow palettes, you can use this brush to fill in your brows, and then you can wet it and use it as an eyeliner. So it's kind of a nice multi-tasking way to not have to bring other products with you. Um, my next suggestion would be if you have any travel-sized or sample-sized items, use them um, to your benefit and just pop them in your makeup bag. Um, some of the little travel size things that I like to use is like my mini Urban Decay Primer Potion that came with the Naked Palette. Um, and also I have some mini mascaras, which I don't have with me right now. But, you know, there's no real point in having like a full size mascara if you have a mini one. And a lot of the times, I don't know, but at least for me, I get those samples and then they just kind of accumulate, accumulate. And I never actually use them. So I think um, having those on reserve for your makeup bag or your purse so you can just use them, and then when they start drying out, just throw them away. You don't need them anymore. Um, I would just definitely, you know, limit yourself to, like, one lipstick or one lip gloss or one kind of multitasking product. Don't, like, bring a liner, bring a lipstick, bring a gloss. Like, that is just way too much. You're not going to have time for that. So I would just choose very wisely, like I mentioned before with the eyeshadows, um, what color you're selecting. You probably won't want to pick, like, a bright pink or a bright red because that's not going to look good every single day depending on where you are or what same situation you're in. Um, so one of the neutral lip colors that I really love is... Rimmel's Lasting Finish in Airy Fairy. This is a really nice kind of neutral pink color. Um, just really, you know, simple, non-offensive. And um, I would just suggest bringing a gloss like this is just a kind of goldy clear gloss. And this is by Clinique and it's called Gold Spun. And this just will look good over any kind of lipstick that you would bring if you bring a brown or if you bring a berry color, you bring a pink, you can just put that pretty much over anything and it will look really good. So I would just stick with something really simple and really pretty and not have to like fool around with anything. So those are pretty much all my little makeup tips for you guys. I hope that you found this review helpful. Um, I would be really interested in hearing what your kind of gal on the go makeup tips are, what you've done to sort of find you know, ways to do your makeup on the go and how to be a minimalist in your makeup bag. Obviously, we don't want to be like carrying around our entire makeup collection with us when we're on the go. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye, guys.